Today we're uh, talking with uh, Dr. John DePew, who was a long-term professor in the College of Information. Uh, he came one year uh, after uh, Dr. Blazik and Dr. Hart, myself. So today, uh, uh, John, I'd like to ask you, uh, what did you do in your career before you became a professor at FSU? Well, I was um, the coordinator of technical services at the University of Pittsburgh in the um, uh, library, the university library there. And prior to that, I was head of acquisitions at Duquesne University, also in Pittsburgh. And before that, I was uh, general librarian at Bethany College in Bethany, West Virginia. Um, right after I got out of library school at Western Reserve University, which is now Case Western, which uh, you, Tom Hart, also attended, uh, I had. Um, I'd always wanted to go to the big city, so I took uh, a job at the uh, New York Public Library. And I was fortunate to uh, work for a while at the main library, 42nd and 5th. And then uh, when they learned that I was going to be drafted, or uh, in my case, I actually uh, signed up to uh, go into the Navy, they shipped me around to two or three different um, uh, branch libraries on Manhattan. Um, let's see. Uh, after that, after, well, I went into the Navy and I was in for about five and a half years. Uh, I went through uh, OCS in Newport, Rhode, Rhode Island, and uh, went into the uh, Air Navy, was an intelligence officer. <laughs> I liked it so much uh, that I decide, decided to make it a career and I went regular and um, less than a year after that I met my wife-to-be and uh, she decided, well I guess I should say I decided <laughs> with her help <laughs> to uh, maintain domestic harmony that I would get out of the Navy. So uh, in, uh, in April of 1964 I did. And since I had been away from the profession for five years, um, I thought uh, the best way to, to catch up was to get my PhD, which I did at the University of Pittsburgh. Um, and uh, that's where I, uh, why, one of the reasons I was at Duquesne and uh, at, the, um, at the, li the Hillman Library there. Um, I worked both those jobs, well actually the one at Bethany too, uh, while I was going. Uh, uh, to library school at Pitt to get the PhD and um, I was planning to be a library administrator but while I was at Pitt I had the opportunity to teach in the library school there and uh, I enjoyed it so much that I uh, decided gee this this is a lot better than being a, uh, a library administrator so I started looking uh, for a position and uh, met Harold Goldstein in Chicago at uh, I think it was a midwinter ALA conference must have been in 71 or 70 72 you came in 72 yeah uh, I got my PhD in 71 so it must have been in 72 and uh, they flew me down here to beautiful Tallahassee from uh, cold snowy <laughs> ugly Pittsburgh and that was it. <laughs> they did the same for me from Indianapolis, cold snowy Indianapolis. Oh yeah, I, I came in and uh, Agnes Gregory who was uh, one of the faculty members here, a beloved one, drove me around town and I saw all the azaleas and you know three hours before I'd seen all the the snow and the clouds up north and man oh man I was sold. Plus the faculty, I, I um, enjoyed meeting the faculty and Harold Goldstein himself uh, quite a personality uh, I mean one of the finest men I've ever met uh, and it didn't take much persuasion uh, to come down here and to work for him as, and have him as my boss great guy really yeah. great guy that's what Ron and I both said we, yeah. we were so lucky to have him as our Dean during the that's right. really the, the nurturing stages of our career. That's, That's right. you know, the time that we needed to, yeah. to grow and get promoted and yeah. and get uh, things very, happening. Very supportive, 
very uh, easy man to work for and uh, very knowledgeable. Uh, yes, wonderful. Okay, uh, now that you came to FSU, what, what were some of the special activities that you'd like to share with our, our uh, well, audience for this? <laughs> Uh, when I first came, one of the first courses I taught was uh, library administration, and um, I introduced the case study uh, approach uh, in that course. Um, I hate to, I don't think it was um, LIS 101, but it was something pretty <laughs> close to that. Uh, and uh, uh, we, I think the students enjoyed that. Uh, I enjoyed it. We divided the class up into groups and uh, uh, studied cases. Um, th this wasn't the whole course, but um, I would say about well, maybe 25% of the course had to do with case studies and, and um, their solutions, if there, you know, if there were any. Uh, so that was one thing, and. Um, then later in the 70s, I was, uh, this had not, nothing to do directly with the school, but I participated in the Governor's Conference on Information, what was it, Information and Library Science? I think so. The National, which that was, was the, the, the first White House Conference. Yeah, right, uh, here in Tallahassee, and uh, uh, enjoyed that. Then in the early 80s, I got interested in preservation conservation and preservation of library materials and um, really concentrated on that. Uh, you set up a wonderful lab. Yeah, we had conservation a lab. We had a super lab in our new building. Yeah, we had a lot of fun doing that, although I spilled a can of paint on the um, white paint on the rug in that lab uh, <laughs> when we were getting going, which I think, of course, is not there now, but it was a, <laughs> a permanent badge. <coughs> but it was a lab. Yeah, it was a lab. <laughs> <laughs> and preservation. I mean, right, it, was, <laughs> right. it preserved the rug all right. <laughs> right. But uh, we had a good time there. I think uh, the students enjoyed it. We took a lot of field trips over to... Um, Oh, Dobbs Bindery in St. Augustine and uh, over to uh, down to the University of Florida, which has, I think they still do, a, a, a superior um, conservation lab down there and preservation program. And um, let's see, where else did we go? You used to go up to Atlanta, didn't you? Uh, well, not with the preservation no, program okay. so much, but we did, yeah, in the late 70s. Um, Charles Conaway and I put together this trip to Atlanta, which was uh, several days long, and a lot of students went. We went up in a bus and uh, went over to um, just outside of uh, Athens, uh, Georgia, where Baker and Taylor had their uh, warehouse facility. And we went into uh, Atlanta and saw the uh, libraries there and tours to the Coca-Cola Library. and. Georgia Tech and uh, went to a baseball game, which was a uh, highlight for many of us. And uh, what else did we do there? Did quite a number of things. 